in time to the 90s for 20 towns in 20 days. And tonight, Channel 3's Lauren Richardson is live in North Haven right now with a look at what makes this community so special. Hi there, Lauren. Hey, Mark and Erin, and yes, North Haven is very beautiful. I'm here right on the town green, as you mentioned. I'm also here with a very special guest right now. I'm here with first selectman Michael Frieda, and uh, Michael, uh, it's a great evening out here as well, but let's talk a little bit about, first of all, what makes North Haven so wonderful, so special? Well, I think down through the years, we've been able to retain the New England charm of a smaller community in light of the fact that we've had a lot of development here and new businesses coming in. So I think the, uh, that character of the town has not changed at all, but yet we have grown our grand list by bringing new businesses in, new stores, and new restaurants, and I think that's part of the charm here in North Haven. Definitely. It's very charming, for sure. Um, all right, let's talk about the future. Now, this is a, a big question for you. Okay, we're talking about 2050. I mean, that's what, uh, 28 years in the future. Uh, what's it going to look like? What do you think North Haven will look like at that time? Well, if uh, that year comes around and I'm still running for office, I think you'll see me with a flock of gray hair, probably walking on crutches and maybe a walker trying to campaign around the town. So that may be a visual that may be a good one or a bad one. I'm not really sure. But I think if we look at North Haven in the future, I mentioned earlier our median age is 47 years of age. I see that coming down as new families will probably move in in coming years. Uh, we have a robust school system. We have a lot of amenities here. We have a low mill rate, 30.7, and that seems to attract a lot of people, and we have a great uh, number of services that we offer. What I think will happen, too, I think there's going to be more electric vehicles coming through town. Uh, right now, we see a demand for charging stations, as an example. Mm -hmm. We have one here right down the street. I've worked with developers in town at major plazas, and we have about 10 other charging stations, stations right now, and they're really heavily utilized. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a tremendous uh, in improvement in infrastructure. You know, I'm a man on multiple missions. I'm trying to improve oh, yeah, every right. day. Yep. And one of the things is improve the town. Uh, with infrastructure, bridges will be repaired, roads will continue to be paved. And I think that in light of what we see uh, regarding coastal resiliency, even though we're not a coastal town, we've been hammered by storms and power outages like a lot of different communities. And I think the future here may be uh, an emergence of underground mut utilities to help um, greater sustainability and help minimize those power outages, which can be so devastating for residents. Oh, definitely. And I mean, you were mentioning even repairing this park, you've done some repairs here uh, with some of the benches and, and the trash cans here. Yeah, so this year we replaced all these park benches here. All those old wooden splintered benches are gone. All these new green benches here, stainless steel. And I'm at the point here where you see these trash cans here. All these tops are being replaced. I think the optics of a community are very important. And uh, as one of my many missions that I'm on, I'm trying to improve the town both from a service standpoint, from bringing new businesses in, and making sure the optics of the town are really at the highest levels. All right. Well, thank you so much, Michael. Thank you so much for being here with us. And we'll continue uh, our 20 towns at 6 o'clock p.m. in North Haven, Lauren Richardson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.